Hello everyone. In today's class, we are going to see how to create the logo using Adobe Illustrator. The main reason for creating these kind of logos is we can learn more about the tools and about the software. So let's start. Before that, the main thing in Photoshop and Illustrator is creating layers. If you are creating a shape or anything, just create a new layer and rename it. Create a new layer and name it as beach. Create a ellipse and use shift and drag for the perfect circle. Pick the eyedropper and select the color from the image. Click and drag the circle using alt for the duplicate. Using transform option, scale it and make it as a small circle. Create a rectangle and place with the small circle. Combine all the shapes and use shape builder tool and drag the unwanted area and select direct selection tool and delete the unwanted area. Now create a circle and pick the color and place it in the center. Open Illustrator and select the image. Tracing logos is to explore the tools like pen tool, rotate tool, eyedropper tool. Select the image layer and lock it and create a new layer. Select the pen tool, click and click again, drag it, you will get a curve. Break the tangent again to create another curve. Again, break the tangent and create a line. This is how we create a shape. Keep the shape aside and select the eyedropper tool, pick the color. Now select the rotate tool option, move the point to the center, use alt and drag for duplicate. You can see there it's getting duplicated. Now we need the same shape. Again we can use alt and drag or we can press ctrl plus D for duplicate. Finally we got the shapes. Select all the shapes and move it aside and fill the color using eyedropper. For the center shape, create the circle and place it. This is how we explore tools by using logos and different shapes. To learn create a new layer and create a ellipse using shift for a perfect circle. Now use polygon tool and click in the document to reduce the sides to 3 because we need a triangle. After that use transform option and rotate it. Now let's adjust the shape according to the circle. Let's change the color for the difference. Use direct selection tool and adjust more precisely. And change the color now. Go to Pathfinder option and select the option called Unite. You can see there the shape got merged. Now for the circle, use a ellipse and drag using shift for perfect circle. Now change the color using eyedropper. We can leave it as this but we can use an option called minus in Pathfinder 2. This is how we use Pathfinder method and create logos. I a new layer and create a circle using shift and adjust it. Now create a rectangle and adjust according to the shape. Let's create a curve on both sides. Select the circle and right click. Give the option called arrange and send to back. Select the rectangle and use rotate tool. Select the center of the rectangle and move it to the center of the circle. Now press Alt in the keyboard, drag and create a duplicate. Now press Ctrl plus D in the keyboard for multiple times duplicate with even spacing. Select all the shapes and go to the option called Pathfinder. If you can't find Pathfinder out in the options, go to Windows, there you can see Pathfinder. Select the Pathfinder and give the option called Unite.
to create the triangle shape create the rectangle and delete the point using delete anchor point and apply the color using eyedropper the eyedropper shortcut is i first create a rectangle if you zoom in you can see a dots on the four corner of the rectangle if you select the dot and drag the rectangle becomes rounded rectangle and if you want to make one side corner curve select the dot using direct selection tool and drag now again create a rectangle and use direct selection tool and select the points which you want to adjust as i did before select the dot and make all sides curve finally we got the face tape app logo the reason behind to create this logo is to show small tips and tricks which is available i select the pen tool from the toolbar or press p in the keyboard now create a new layer and lock the image layer let's start tracing from here just click and go to the other end and click and drag for a curve these are the tangents using these we can adjust the curves so we have to break the tangents first use alt and click in the center we can break the tangent or use alt and click the one side of tangent and drag to the midpoint we can also use any method in these to break the tangents now click again and drag for the curve have a look how i use pen tool for this shape shape is done use eye dropper and pick the color let's drag the shape and place outside the artboard for better visibility if you see the logo we need another shape like that for that we have to use reflect option click the shape and right click go to transform there we have an option called reflect click it and we will get a dialog box there we have lots of options like horizontal vertical preview option so we need vertical option here click vertical and select the preview option we can see it in live itself so now click copy finally we got the shape what we want now for the background shape create a rectangle and use the points and drag for rounded rectangle and adjust it according to the shape use eye dropper and pick the color click and drag the shape and place it with the new shape which we created right click and move the shape because we have to arrange the shape so give the option called send to back you can see there we got the books app logo i hope the video was useful in the next video let's see how to do animation in adobe photoshop thank you